Hello everyone, Brian here. Today we are kayak fishing Los Alamitos Bay. And here's Los Alamitos Bay near Seal Beach um, in southern, southern California. So here we go. I started fishing maybe 7.30 in the morning. I think I was done around 11, 11.30. So call it three and a half hours or so, four hours. Um, it's a good day. And uh, you'll see here as we go. So first fish of the day, what do we have? It is a small halibut. Hey, clean release. There we go. I'm going to share with you where I caught these fish, how I caught these fish, where I launched. I'm going to give you all the tools you need to catch a few fish here if you want to try it out. Um, as you can see, my kayak is nothing too special. It's a you know, pretty flat sit on top. It has some rod holders that's designed for fishing, but it also is very stable and slow, hard to tip. So that's kind of what I was going for. And, uh, you know, nothing too crazy. So here we go, second fish. This is a yellowfin croaker. I seem to catch a few of these these days. They were uh, biting pretty well. And uh, they actually are a pretty good fighting fish. So they're a lot of fun to catch. Um, I moved locations here. This is a, a spot where I caught most of my fish this particular day. So I'm going to share with you where this location is um, at the end of the video. You can see here, fish number three. This is a spotted bay bass. Yeah, also known as a spotty. This is my target species. You know, I love catching these things. Um, they're, they're great fun. All fish were released. I'm just doing it for the sport. Not opposed to keeping a few every once in a while, but you know, I was just here to have some fun this particular day. There's another spotty. My uh, lure today is a 1 8 ounce ball jig head with a Berkeley Gulp Minnow 3 inch. Um, the Berkeley Gulp Minnow is scented and the 1 8 ounce is a really light ball jig head. And I'm fishing light line as well, 8 pound test with some spinning gear. You know, nothing too crazy. You could use this fresh water for bass as well. So um, it's pretty light for the ocean, but I kind of prefer that adds to the fun you know the spies were coming in here's another yellowfin croaker um you know the fishing this particular day was was pretty good i mean certainly not the best day i've ever had but not the worst that's for sure and there's another yellowfin croaker and i'm just casting out letting this thing go to the bottom and then uh, just bouncing it on the bottom as i'm reeling it back in hey there you go see you later buddy there's a boat. You know, nothing too crazy. It's a pretty simple method. Just let that that uh, minnow kind of bounce along the bottom, and the fish, if they're around, just seem to, you know, inhale it. There's another nice spotty. Good stuff. Hey, here's another species. This is a calico bass, little guy. Another yellowfin croaker here. You know, not too much traffic this day. It's pretty quiet out there. You know, that's what makes it nice. Just get to relax, catch a few fish. You see some shops over there. There's a good shot of the lure. Nothing fancy, that's for sure. But it seems to do really well. And I just left the camera on this time. Um, caught one, cast it back out. You can see me letting it sink to the bottom here. It's a pretty light lure, so it takes a little bit of time to get down there. Once it's down there, just kind of jigging it along the bottom. Moving it around. Great thing about the ocean is you never know what you're going to catch. Um, there's so many different species of fish that uh, it's it's fun. You just never know what's on the other end of the line. Here we go. Fish on. Another yellowfin croaker. 
on stuff. So I am in another location, which I will share with you. There's another spotted bay bass. Really healthy one. These fish were nicer grade. Um, I didn't show you all the fish I caught, um, but most of the fish were were really healthy, really nice. Oh, there's some dolphins. Kind of freak you out when you're not ready for them. Same with seals, man, those things are a little scary sometimes. Another spotty. This one was hooked a little weird. Good fish. See you later. Catch you next time. Okay, I'm turning the sound on so you can hear me fighting this fish. This fish was in the rocks up there. And so you gotta get them out of the rocks quick so they don't break you off. So I had to kind of horse this one out of there. Just fighting the fish. Like a lot of these fish today. After catching so many of these spotties, you know, they have a lot of teeth. I mean, it just kind of wears your thumb down, gets it raw and bloody. So I had to give up. I, I, I mean, it doesn't hurt the fish, just easier to hold them. Uh, once your finger is uh, too fished out, after you got bass thumb. There's another yellowfin croaker. Good fishing today. Oh, there we go. Another calico bass. A real nice one, of course. <laughs> These calico bass can get pretty big, so grow up, buddy. This here boat was on fire. That was kind of surprising. That was a first for me. And this is uh, when it was first coming in. You kind of see the smoke starting. Hard to tell if it was just a bad you know polluting boat or if it was really on fire at the beginning but then it got way worse and I ended up just getting out of the way there were lots of people offering to help but they had a couple of fire boats out there and a helicopter probably a news helicopter was circling it it was quite the scene um, for like 15-20 minutes well that does it well while you're here you might as well go for a swim right Hey, I appreciate you guys, you know, coming by and checking this out. And uh, let's get into the particulars here about what we did. Here's where I launched. That is Los Alamitos Bay Yacht Club. And then that's that little spot I circled is a little walkway to the ocean. I parked there on the street and just launched right there. Super easy, super convenient, and it's really close to the fishing. And then here is where I caught the fish. Um, you can see right near the yacht club there at the entrance to the yacht club, Caught a few up there, and then on the bottom left is where I caught most of the fish day, where I was anchored up. And then uh, you can see right there and up near the top as well, um, in that point, caught a few nice spotties and a couple of yellowfin croaker up there as well. So hey, that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care.